Hello. Okay, so <laughs> this is one of your first ever training videos. <clears throat> and um, it is going to be <laughs> just a quick one on money. This is just like super beginning stuff. And then you'll have two more like topics about money coming um, in your pink boot camp video three. We're going to talk about um, taxes and I think more about this that we're about to do. But I want to give you a simple one because if you start doing this from the beginning, it's so much simpler. So we're going to first do a sales ticket and then we're going to do something called the 60-40 split so that you know how to pay yourself. Um, <clears throat> so just take notes if you would with me. And if you want to get out a sales ticket <clears throat> and if you want to get out um, maybe a section in your notebook I kind of tell everybody to get a three section spiral notebook to keep your like contact list, your to-do list, and your um, notes in. Well, I sometimes like to keep my money, like profits and all that in there too. Um, or right now, I'll show you what I'm doing right now. <laughs> okay, so uh, this is like a book that my husband ordered and it, it's just like a date book, but it has, um, the months in it like every month which is kind of cool and then it has every week which in Mary Kay we use like weekly calendars a lot so you've got one that comes from Mary Kay um, I just happened to like that there was like a lot of note pages in the back too and honestly it was 36 bucks so I was like I'm gonna use this <laughs> but there's all these pages in the back so I was like I'm gonna do a little money log <clears throat> It's kind of fun I'm about to show you how to do it in a second but anytime money comes in or out for your business in your like Mary Kay checking account that you'll make you just kind of write it down and then um, part of it is your Mary Kay order 50% and the rest is profit so I'm gonna show you how to do that in a second okay so first we're gonna start with a sales ticket so here's our current sales tickets let me tell you the main things I do I fill out her first name and last name and the date because those are the most important parts to me. Everything else is not important to me, unless, sorry, unless she's a new customer um, and she didn't like go to a facial and already fill out one of these pink forms. If she filled out that, I have all her info, so I don't need it here, you know? <clears throat> so, um, we're just gonna pretend her name is Maria and we're gonna go with Sanchez. Okay, and let's say today's date, I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you, <laughs> is 3519. <laughs> Sometimes I like to be secretive. Um, I'm also expecting my first child, if you can see that. Okay, back to this. All right, <clears throat> so what I do when I fill out a sales ticket is um, I'm gonna do it without any kind of discounts and then I'll show you where I put the discount if she has one. Um, so let's say someone got from you the Miracle Set 3D. That is the main thing that we're showing people at facials. Um, I'm going to apologize right now in advance that it was the old Miracle Set in your training video too that you'll see. But just know that the words that I have in your <laughs> new consultant packet with what to say has the 3D products, okay? So someone gets the Miracle Set 3D for me. I also write right here, because this is her sales ticket. Like, this is the only, like, way that I know what she bought, you know? So I want to, like, make sure I write down if she was oily to normal skin, which we call combination. It also has a purple stripe um, on the back of it. Just writing that for you. Or I want to write down if she's normal to dry because I um, am going to enter all my customers. Um, and there's a place called My Customers on your page that that'll be part of training number three where you'll enter your customers. But I'm going to enter what she bought. And so I want to know like exactly what she got from me um, for when she reorders or if she has any questions or needs to trade out anything. The price on it is 110 okay? So, um, and I only change the like quantity over here. The price is like the same no matter what, but the quantity is um, how many of them she purchased, you know? Um, so, so like to be really simple, let's say she bought one more thing. Let's say she got also an eye makeup remover. 
I'm in a restaurant in Seminole doing an open house and someone was watching me <laughs> do this video. Okay, so let's say that that's what she bought, okay? Um, you would just add that up with your calculator, which I can't do it this second. I should have thought about that. But that's 125. And I, I put her total down here, okay? Um, <clears throat> if, uh, if I gave any kind of discounts, like say she got, it's a facial, and say uh, with set number one or set number three on our little facial thing, say she got like mm, $34 off or something, or whatever I think is like a, a little sale that they had, then I would deduct whatever free she got here. Or say she was a facial for you, and sometimes we give them like a $10 off for doing a facial, so then you'd put the $10 there, okay? Um, yeah, uh, sometimes I'll even like put it there too. You know, like minus $10 equals, minus 10 equals 100 was that, you know, or whatever. But uh, the main thing is the subtotal is like the full total without any kind of discounts, okay? For a lot of reasons, that's important. For the first reason is one, I wanna figure out tax on this amount because Mary Kay is gonna charge you full tax on the retail amount of the products. Sorry, I'm kinda of shaking right now. <laughs> um, so how to figure out tax, you take this number of whatever the real price of the products is, which is its retail cost. Oh, sorry, I keep shaking. I don't know how to not shake, so I'm just gonna try. Um, and then you're going to, oh, new subtotal, so you would subtract that would be 115. Anyways, uh, <clears throat> sales tax on 125. If you're in New Mexico, which is where I am right now, sales tax is 6.8%, so you multiply your subtotal times 0 0.068. If you remember math, you were supposed to like move the decimal, if it's 6.8%, you move the decimal two times. I don't know, don't worry about that. Just multiply the number times 0 0.068. If you're in Texas, your tax, you take the, um, you multiply the subtotal, subtotal, subtotal times 0 0.0825. So I'm sorry to not be able to do math with you, I don't think it would be smart to try to do it in my head, but I know <laughs> it's about $8 for every 100 in Texas and about $6.8 for every 100. So I'm just gonna guess that tax is about <laughs> $8 between the two different places. Anyway, so you'll add um, her subtotal plus the tax on the full amount to get her total. So 115 plus eight, would be 128 plus five, I think it's three. Anyway, so that's her total. Her total is 123 after her little gift card. So there is an idea on how to write a sales ticket. Hope that helps. And then we're gonna do one more little thing. And this is not little. Sorry for making it seem little. <laughs> this is a money log. So let's go ahead and use our Maria again as an example. But I like to um, do this for a couple reasons. One is it tells us how much money we're making. Um, so I go ahead and write like the date. I write down the like name. So that's like the name could be Maria Sanchez or the name could be Dollar Tree, you know, if you spent money. So this is like, this is like honestly your balance of money coming in and out, okay? So you'll have like pluses and minuses here. The date, we're gonna go ahead and write today's date. Okay, um, and then you can kind of do little lines, it's probably smart. I have this on an Excel spreadsheet if this is helpful to you. And you can kind of even have cool things to add, but sometimes I just like it on paper because I don't have computers with me, but I have paper with me all the time, you know? Um, this is gonna be, um, so this is bouncing it. So this is how much money, oh, sorry. That's the name. <laughs> I'm so sorry. This is your, like, um, for example, so I'm gonna write down Dollar Tree. So you're gonna know, like, where money came in or out of, you know? Um, and I'm gonna write down 
like tithe, if you like tithes to your church or if you went to the post office. Just examples, okay? So um, here is the like the like money in or out, okay? And I also called it like your balance over here <laughs> because that is really gonna show you how much money you have in your account. So let's pretend we started at zero, like you just opened your Mary Kay account, and um, I'm just gonna show you how to pay yourself. And um, Mary Kay said attract number grows, so you'll probably sell more and you'll probably make more if you keep track of it, rather than if you just woo, which I honestly did for a long time. And um, I can show you how to woo too. Um, this is just actually better <laughs> in a lot of ways, um, especially that one scripture. I think it's like Matthew 23, 25, or Matthew 25, 23 says that if you're faithful with little, God will give you more. Or if you manage what, sorry, I have this like lipstick on my hand. <laughs> um, it's a stain, so it's not coming off. But if you're faithful with little, God will give you more. Or if you manage what he gives you, he'll give you more to manage. So like in this parable, he gave these guys cities to manage because they managed it well. Well, so I think part of managing um, our money and managing our inventory is so important in Mary Kay. So this is money that comes in and out. I'm just going to show you an example. Um, for example, money that came in was 123. That's how much she paid us. Okay. Um, if if you ran her credit card, um, which we use ProPay to run credit cards, you might have a little charge. Like um, they might charge you a couple dollars. You know. So so let's just pretend. If she gave you cash or check, you're going to write down 123. If you used ProPay. I would go ahead and write down whatever it is after you run it. It'll have the total. There's a little app. It'll say, you ran it for 123, but we really only gave you 120, you know? So let's just pretend it's just whatever money you got. And just for the day, the kind of day that it is nowadays, and everybody uses cards and debit, let's just say you got 120 from Maria after you ran her card. Oh, by the way, um, if you're running someone's card, sorry, they're like hitting me or something. Um, that's the card number, expiration date, three digits on back, and zip code is what you would need to run her card. And you can even store it and it'll be kind of there for you in the future. Um, okay, so let's say Maria gave us 120. So I'm gonna go ahead and write down, after the chart, the little ProPay charges, it was 120. So there's our money in. The next column is gonna be our ordering. So you've got your order. Um, is 50%. You know, that's how much you have to order it or how much it costs you to order it. And then I go ahead and right next to order, I put the tax column. And that's, that's why it's also really important that we write full tax on the receipt because it's the same amount of tax that Mary Kay is going to charge us for whatever state you're in. So let's say 50% of the order. That's, it's not 50% of what she paid you because you gave her a little discount. So that's the other reason it's important to write the full amount right here, because um, the products cost you 50% of that. So 50% of 125 is 50, 60, 7, 50, okay? I think that's right, yep. Nope, 62, 50? Yeah, because half of 120 is 60. So 62, 50. So I'm gonna go ahead and write on the order 62.50. That's how much the products cost us. In the business world, this is called the cost of goods sold. <laughs> they cost us 50%. So we have to write that down. And then the next thing we're going to write down is the tax that she gave us. So these two columns are like how much we're going to order in Mary Kay. Okay. Um, so the tax, we just made it up. Sorry. <laughs> It was eight dollars, right? Okay, so that right there is how much she gave us and 50% for the order and tax, okay? And now there's a couple more columns to figure out profit. So honestly, the rest is all like, if you're just gonna be super simple about your business, this is your money, okay? <laughs> However, if you want to be a little bit more hardcore about it, uh, we call this this whole sheet 
the 60-40 split where you want to keep like 40% profit and keep 10% for your business supplies. I love this because you always have money for stuff like shipping uh, from Mary Kay, shipping straight to your customer. There's something called CDS where you can customer delivery service straight to your customer from Mary Kay if you're active and you have ProPay. Um, shipping to your customer from her house. There's a lot of shipping. <laughs> uh, you could also put samples here. This is how you could also pay for some supplies, like if you wanted to go to Dollar Tree. Um, this money can actually get really big too for you to even uh, like keep you know 10% of every sale in this account for for uh, our conferences and stuff, okay? Or just big things that you need. This, so it's really wise to keep this 10%. So Mary Kay calls it the 60-40 split because you've got your 50% plus tax plus this 10% is 60 that you're kind of keeping in your business, you know? And then you've got your profit 40% that you get to decide how you want to spend it. So we'll talk about that. Um, <clears throat> the simplest way to me to do the 10%, I just take 10% of what she gave me. I could take 10% of the actual total before tax, or, or you know, sorry, the actual total uh, before tax, or I could take 10% of the subtotal, or I could take 10% of whatever. But like, I just don't want to be like so perfect at math that I get overwhelmed. I just take 10% of what she gave me, so. 10% is um, one decimal from, you know, from the little thing, you go one over, so it would be $12. Or you could just multiply <laughs> whatever she gave you times 0.1 <laughs> and you'll get 10%. So I just do 10% of what she gave me. I keep that in the business, um, which is cool because it'll help pay for your order that, you know, the shipping on that order that she made, whatever. Um, and then 40%, I wish I had my calculator again. <laughs> it's so simple. You take how much she gave you minus how much it costs to order the products and the tax, um, which she already gave you the tax, but just uh, how much she gave you minus your order minus the 10% uh, or you know 10% column. I'm gonna try to do it in my head. Um, 120 minus 62 is. 58, yep, 57, 50 minus 8 is 49, 50 <laughs> minus 12 is 39, 50 minus 2 is 37, 50. So check this out. You have $37.50 in your profit account. From one sale of one skincare set, you made $39.50. So something that I like to do, um, I've always like wanted to tithe. You don't tithe off of the full what she gives you. But if you tithe off of this 120, you're gonna tithe 12 bucks. But your profit's really only 37.5. So you really only tithe off of um, off of your profit after your off, after your expenses in your order you tithe off your profit a tithe is 10% so I'm just gonna write that right here so you would tithe 37.5 you would tithe 3.75 so after you tithe you can kind of subtract that from your total 3.75 I'm just gonna say you've got $34 is your profit profit so what I do now is I know from my little trusty paper, which if I wasn't doing this paper, I would not know, just kind of in your head, you've got $3.75 to give next time you go to church. <clears throat> you've got $34 to spend on yourself. Isn't that exciting? You've got uh, $12 for any expenses you need. This is your Mary Kay order. You're going to need 62.5 plus this $8 that the woman gave you for your order. And in, in total, in, in your account right now, you have 120 bucks, okay? So this helps you know what you can spend and what you can't, okay? So let's say you go to Dollar Tree and you're so excited and you buy a few little expenses. 
um, let's just say you get like five dollars worth or something probably you have enough in your little business supply account to get that Dollar Tree stuff <clears throat> if you don't you might have to use a little bit of your profit if you want to although I will say everything is a tax write-off that you're gonna do so that just is fun because it's just money back later okay let's focus back on um, Let's just say you dollar, I'm just gonna say you bought three dollars worth of stuff. You bought some mailers and some tape, okay? Just for fun. I just don't want to spend all your money. So I'm gonna do uh, Dollar Tree, it was three dollars minus. So you had a plus for her money, minus three for Dollar Tree. So minus three here. Um I actually try to like make a balance sometimes. So I'm gonna do this. I also, just so you know, every time I sell something, I go ahead and put it on the order to reorder it for my inventory or to order it for my customer. Um, so I just put it on there so I don't forget like what I have to order when I'm writing this down. I'm just going to put your total here. Your total, you've got 120 minus 3, so you've got 117 here. Uh, your total is still 62.5 for your Mary Kate order and eight dollars there Your business supplies you spent three dollars. So you've got nine And you still have 34 because you didn't spend your profit and you still have your tithe to give when you go to church, okay? <laughs> um, so now um, If that makes sense, you're always gonna put money in and take money out but this will show you how much you have to spend. I have been so guilty of spending the business money plus the profit money and even some of this money and then I didn't have enough money to order. I'd have to use my own money, you know, from other things, you know, to order. <laughs> and so this just helps you be a little bit better about that. It gives you some boundaries on what you're supposed to do and not supposed to do <laughs> so you can make good decisions. Uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna say, let's say on three, 6, 19. Let's say you have one more order and you have Brenda orders. Let's just say she does um, $100. We're going to pretend we're in Texas. So she's going to give you $108.25 for her $100 order. I'm just going to write that there for my brain to remember. So if someone orders $100 from you, we didn't give her any discounts. The cost of the goods is 50%. So it's going to be $50. The tax that we charged her was $825 and she did not use the ProPay or anything. So she just gave us a check. Um, your 10%, I'm gonna go ahead and use that one, 10.83, 10% 10 of the, the total she gave you. And then basically this column is like what's left. So you go 108.25 minus 50 would be 58.25, minus 8.25 would be 50 bucks. 50 minus 10.83 is gonna be 39.83. Ooh, baby's kicking. Two seven? One seven. Thirty-nine seventeen. Okay. So now if you want to tithe off of this before you keep your profit, it would be three point nine two is your tithe. And then you'd subtract it from there. So minus about four bucks. Uh you've got thirty-five profit. Okay. Now let's do Another total because it just makes me happy. And so you're gonna probably get like three or four transactions from each party. And then spend a little bit in between. I try to not spend until I know how much I have to spend. It kind of slows me down, which is a good thing. <laughs> okay, so our total was 117 um, after our little Dollar Tree thing. And I'll tell you, you might have some of your money from this total, some of it'll be in ProPay. She paid you with your card, so now you've got that money is in ProPay, which is connected to your Mary Kay order. And you sometimes you can actually call to get a debit card on it. Um, and then this money is in your bank account, but a total between both accounts that you have is going to be let's see, 117 plus 108. So you're going to have 215. 2, 15, 25. I think that's right. Okay. <laughs> so that's your new balance on your, I'm going to do another total here. Um, for your Mary Kate order, you've got the 62.5 plus the 50 for Brenda's order. So now your order is at 112.50. 112.50. 112.50. 112.50. 112.50. 112.50. 112.50. 112.50. 112.50. 112.50. 112.50. 112.50. 112.50. 112.50. 112.50. 112.50. 112.50. 
Okay, and then you've got tax for both of them is $16.25. Pause this anytime you need to regroup and call me, please, if you have any questions. Now, this one is $19.83 for your business account. And then you've got your profit account is at 70, oops, 69. And your tithe, I'm just gonna be really simple. Six, I don't know how simple to be. How can I do this? I'll just do it, normal math, seven. I think that's a seven plus a nine is 16. And a seven, okay. Sorry for being shaky. <sighs> All right, ready girls? Now, I'm just gonna give you, I'm just, I hope this is helping you. Let's say you make a Mary Kay order. You just, it's time to order, so let's say the same day you made an order. So I'm gonna put MK order. Um, you'll know the total of the order once you place it. And that order is gonna be probably 112.5 wholesale, unless you added some products for you. If you did, you, I would probably put that in there and you have to pay for it somehow, you know? <laughs> so my products, <laughs> and let's say the products were, uh, you know, say you bought $40 for the products, well, it's gonna cost you 20 plus tax on the 40. I'm just gonna pretend you bought products. Uh, let's say you bought $40 for the products, so it cost you 20 wholesale tax on the 40 um, was, uh, 3.3 if you're in Texas. I just moved from there, so it's easier for me to know the numbers. So you'd have to pay, you're not really paying the 40 plus tax, you're just paying costs. So you'd pay 20.3 to yourself, okay? Okay, <clears throat> so let's say you made a Mary Kay order for yourself, which is going to cost, oh, I should have kept that there. It's still going to be added to your order the, in those columns, in the tax and whatever column, um, that you're not going to like don't have any extra money because you didn't make any profit to fill those okay um, <clears throat> so let's say your Mary Kay order I should have put it down here sorry I'm just gonna do that uh, I'm gonna show you one more example let's say you also you put your own products you put money in there for your own products yeah let's just do this MK order <clears throat> let's say the order that what the order is gonna cost you you just know it's gonna cost you the wholesale plus the tax, plus it's gonna cost you shipping and any samples that you got. But remember, you only have $19 here, okay? So uh, when we do your order, we know it's gonna be the sales tickets, maybe maybe just always make a sales ticket for yourself too, you know? And just put your own cost on there. That'll be really easy for taxes, by the way. So let's just say your order, <clears throat> is going to be 30 is it three dollars okay 19.55 and 132.50 okay that's your order plus shipping by the way is always like 10.35 or something uh there's two new shipping options to do ups or united states postal service uh ups just comes faster and it also goes to it does not go to post office, PO boxes, so you'd have to do UPS for that one. Anyways, you'll, that's probably your shipping. And let's say you got some samples. You only have like $8 to buy samples worth. They say in general to have 5% or less of your order in samples. <clears throat> let's just say you had like $4 plus tax on your order for samples. So anyways, they'll tell your order, your total at the end, but I can just go ahead and tell you 132.5, I'm getting so good at math. 132 plus about 20 is 152 plus five cents. So 152.05 is your order minus the, wait, plus those. Like your cost is gonna include all that. <clears throat> but you're actually deducting them from the big total because we uh, spent it, if that makes sense. So what was it? 152.05 plus 14 plus 162, 166.4. Okay, so 166.4. Mary Kay will tell you your total. You will never have to add that in your own head, but I'm just trying to be real right now. <laughs> and I've been wanting to record this for so long. <clears throat> Hope you guys can hear me, okay? 
there is a little window right here where people are ordering. And there's a kitchen right there. Okay, we're at the Super Foyer restaurant in Seminole. Okay, <clears throat> okay so, so in your Mary Kay account, uh, your totals that we did, uh, we just spent, we got 20 more bucks for that. We just spent 166.4. You're, you paid yourself for the products, so this is negative, okay? So whenever you spend something, Dollar Tree or whatever, you subtract it from the appropriate columns. Whenever you, you add money, you add it to the columns and then, and then uh, figure out your total. So we had 225 plus 20, so that's 245.5. So you have about, I'm just going to show you, you have about 80 left. <sighs> My brain is not wanting to get too into detail in that column after you make your Mary Kay order, okay? Um, you really should have nothing, 125 and 20, yep, you should have nothing in your inventory um, category because you already spent that. You should have nothing in your tax category because you just, you know, spent that. Um, in your business one, you had you had about 20 bucks, and then you spent about 14. So we'll just know you have about six bucks left, a little less than six dollars left there. Um, you didn't spend your profit column, so you still have the same profit, and you didn't spend your tithe because you did good. <laughs> so so that's where you're at in your in your things, and that's kind of funny. That's your balance of how much money you're supposed to have, so technically it should all add up. <clears throat> Except for I didn't do like the best math. You should have enough for, since we just went, how much she gave you minus the costs, it should equal, you know, if you add those back up, it should equal that. So your tithe plus your profit, 69, is about 76 plus six, so we should have about 82 in our account. So it's kind of fun. If it ever doesn't add up, I just go, oh well. Like, <laughs> I tried. Um, so, I hope that helps you a little bit. Um, oh, it's just something that is like business. It's actually like, kind of like balancing your books so you can feel like really smart once you figure it out. Um, I will tell you, I tried to not do it for a really long time. <laughs> but I just was always convicted that, um, that if I did it, I would know how much I have. Let me show you what makes me really happy. You're not going to be able to like read this that well because if I like I write real small too, but I like this. Um, just going to show you on mine. It's just really fun. I'm just going to go back to a couple days ago or a couple months ago. I do a new. I start new every month. <clears throat> I had a couple of people pay me. No, sorry, that was my propay balance. That's how much I had at the beginning of the month in my account, so I didn't have anything to order. I just went ahead and put money in, in all the columns to like start new. <laughs> I had a gal pay me. She made me a payment, um, and I had already given her the products and ordered them, so I just distributed it out in my little columns. And then Alejandrina, sweet new customer, also, uh, she already paid me one payment, which I bought the products with before and just didn't have any profit, you know? So this was like her second payment um, that I distributed out. So so here's like how much I had in my columns. I had an assistant come over, so I paid her. I went ahead and paid her out of my 10% column. It just feels good to feel like you have money, you know? Um, I went to Walmart and I got some lash stuff because I was going to a conference. So I took that out of the business one. Everything's a write-off, so you can kind of choose. It looks like a customer ordered, so I added that. I'm trying to find, oh, there it was, sorry out of my profit from the very like beginning up there. I paid 69, 65 for my hubby student loans. So I love like paying bills out of this column. It just feels good. Um, Crescencia customer, she, that's a weird one. Cause she pays me like $20 a month for her skincare. And so I just like charge her $20 a month and give it to her whenever she needs it. She actually ran out of it. So it like looks like I lost money, but I really get 20 months from her. Anyways, weird. She owed me money. Okay, USPS. I subtracted from the postal service um, from my total and from my 10% column. <clears throat> uh, 
uh, and then I had another girl order. She, I have a couple girls that made me payments. Every once in a while, if I really like and trust someone, I let them make me payments. Um, okay, so here's a couple normal orders. Bonnie Hair Eye. She actually ordered twice from me. So that was her order from me. I didn't have to order that product because it was out of my like overstocked basket. Sorry, not a good example. Sorry, let me go to a really good example. <laughs> Paige McCain. There's one. Paige McCain, she paid me $55.98. The products cost $31. Tax, the 10% column, profit, and tithe. And then look, I paid my tithe, so 35 bucks, and I got to cross it off paid, and then I make my balance zero under there when it's when it's zeroed out. Uh, <clears throat> Miranda, I think I just gave, she just, oh. I don't know, focus it back on. Jan Brimley. <clears throat> 3593. If I customer delivery service straight to a customer, I just do how much she gave me and then like the the whole order cost that 3593. So, uh, after I subtracted that 10%, that's how much was left. If that makes sense, like this is her order, it was her the the products plus the tax plus the shipping like already came out of it cuz I drop shipped it straight to her from Mary Kay. So that's how much Mary Kay charged me. So I just did how much I got, 43.11, <laughs> minus Mary Kay's charges, and then there was like $7 left. <laughs> okay, let me see if there's anything cool I wanna show you. Post office, Helen, she's my assistant in Lubbock. I paid her with a cashier's check, probably at the post office. <clears throat> and just money coming in and coming out. So fun, I think. What else do I wanna show you, anything else cool? Sophia, so I have a girl that helps clean our house so that my husband and I can just hang out after work and neither of us are being crazy. Um, so I paid for her to clean our house. Okay, is this a new month yet? Yes, I love a new month. I can start all over and everything's clear and not weird. Um, got to pay towards a credit card, pay office, I paid an office assistant makeup artist event. Oh yeah, I paid for a couple of girls in advance for that. Anyways, I hope that that is so nerdy and fun to you and that that will be something that you can master. It's I think it's really important if you're married to be able to show your honey the money. And so it's just something that just takes time, but I think it's so important. It's just a part of our business that we sit down. <clears throat> I actually... Um, it might be really smart if you print the Excel spreadsheet of this. It's uh, it's on the files section of our team page, Sweet Believers Home Fire. If you click on files, I think it's called 60-40 split or Mindy's 60-40 split. Something really smart would be to have it like this. Let me see if I can still let you see me. Hope you can see me in your money bag. If you have, um, <clears throat> I have my sales tickets in here. If you went ahead and had your um, your Excel spreadsheet sheet with, <laughs> I just I actually put like the money and sales tickets like here until I'm done with it, you know. Um, but if you went ahead and put all your money <clears throat> with that Excel spreadsheet, which is probably what I'll do soon once I run out of room, with all of your like tickets in there that you need to do. So that's what I have back here. These are all the ones that um, that I still need to like, I either owe them products or I need to put the products on my order or I need to like deposit the money or put the money on my little sheet. When I'm done with it, um, I fold it in half <laughs> and then I file it away in my like tax thing, which you'll learn. You just have a folder for your sales receipts um, for your taxes. Okay, I hope that it helps so much. And I'm here for lots of questions and so is your recruiter if I'm not your recruiter.